everybody and welcome to the Darlington International Raceway as we get ready for the second race of the chase here in the ch uh oh crap I forgot the name of this round I'll look it up later but anyways it's the second race of the first round of the chase and uh we still have yet to have a chase driver go to victory lane so it's all about fighting for the for the top highest finishing positions for these chasers. Um, on a bit of a somber note, I am recording this race at, on uh, September 11th, so it'll probably be up maybe to September or well, probably tomorrow, September 12th. But so uh, in respects to 9/11, uh, we are going to have two silent laps on both lap nine and lap 11, give or take them being under caution or not. But uh. So, anyways, on the pole today, in the number 18, Eminem's Toyota is O'Neal Balvin, get, claiming his, I think it's like his second second or third pole of the season, maybe. And alongside him is the number 72 of John Cittadino. Uh, third is chaser James Silver Fox, because, you know, O'Neal Balvin's also a chaser, he's on the pole. And fourth is Sam Young. So, without further ado, and everything's getting going, let's, uh... Go track side for the command. Drivers, start your engines. Here we go. The command to fire the engines has been given. These cars are going to roll off the tr off pit lane onto the racetrack as we're going to see 37 laps of racing here today at Darlington. Now I know how, how tough it is for Darlington to have passing and stuff, so it's gonna all come down to fuel mileage and in case and it, just in case cars hit the wall. But I have seen, I actually have seen passing at this track before, so I'm just gonna have to wait and see what kind of a restart or start a lot of these drivers get. As the pace car comes off the track, we're going to get ready to start the Bojangles Southern 500. If I had throwback schemes, I definitely would have downloaded them and bought and used them for this, for this, uh, and used them for this racetrack. But here we go. Coming to the green flag here in the Southern 500. Green flag is out. We're underway. A very healthy start for both O'Neill Balvin and the 72 of John Cittadino. But it's going to be O'Neill Balvin that's going to just gently pull out. That's going to pull out for the lead. Oh, the 55 car hard into the inside wall. Comes right back up across the track. Right into Anthony McCurry. All the drivers are going crazy here. I think they saved it. And I think we're good. Yes, we are good, as O'Neill Balvin leads the first lap of the Southern 500. James Silver Fox right on the back bumper of the 18 machine. But remember how I said, passing is very hard to do at this racetrack. Is we're going to kind of scroll through the field here. O'Neill Balvin is in first. Chaser, second place is Chaser James Silver Fox. The next chaser is Max Newworth back in seventh position. And then it's the sixth of Nathan Hudson back here in 11th. Jay Pericles is in 12th about, uh, under contest with, with uh, Trent Dunham here. Uh, uh, Stephen Pollard III is here in 18th, I think, unless we'll have to see when he crosses the line. 17th for that number 13 machine. 
Uh, Annabelle Balvin is back here in ninth and uh, 19th. Then Nick Paracletus is in 20th. Kyle Matthews is in 22nd. Anthony McCurry, who's part of that, that excursion back here, is in 28th. Uh, Nick Altendorf's in 30 is in the 31st position. Jake Haynes is in 34th. Or, uh, 30, yeah, 34th. Nick Altendorf's in 31st. Uh, here's Johnny Gardner, who's getting passed by a lot of cars, was in 36th last time. And then you have the two, uh, the two, uh, Queen X Racing teammates back here in 41st and 42nd. And then you have Cody Lamas here in 38th. So that's like that's a brief run where all the chasers are as a lot of these drivers try are attempting to pass. Something happened to O'Neill Baldwin. He was just leading. Now he's back here in the in the back here in the 10th position. I think he might have got caught on the high side in one of the corners. I don't see any damage on that 18 machine, but I think Silver Fox passed him, and when he was put on the high side, he just lost all of those positions. So now the new leader is the ten of the ten of James Silver Fox. As we are actually going to go ahead and uh, rewind it here, and we're going to try to see what happened to the 18 car that put that that dropped him back. Had this had to have been when I was going through the field. Yep, right here. Silver Fox ducks out low. It's going to move the 18 to the high side. 18 had to slow down a lot. And, and O'Neill Baldwin just lost all of those positions. As we're back up here now. Our new leader is the number 10. The 10 Ford out of Penske Racing of James Silver Fox. The 17 of Cameron Pemberton is right behind him. It could all come down to pit stops as well. The 18 car has fallen back to the 10th position, which even though it's not the lead, it's still a very good position to be in. We have one, I think we have like three chasers in the top ten. That's O'Neill Baldwin, six of Nathan Hudson, oh, four chasers, excuse me, the 23 of Max Newark, and the 10 of James Silverfox. Ooh, the 17 car looking down low. He thought about trying to go down low, but he couldn't quite get the run. Now the 17 is going to have to settle back right in behind us, the 10 car. Down the back straight away, the 10 car goes. Here they come, coming off of the turn. You see them all coming through here. You have Ford, Ford, Chevy, Chevy, Toyota, Chevy, Ford, 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 uh, Ford yeah, Ford, Ford, uh, Mercedes, Toyota. That's your top 10. We're going to take this time to go to a quick commercial break. We'll be right back with some more action. We'll be right back with some more action here at Darlington. Welcome back here to the Darlington International Raceway where we are running the, the Bojangles Southern 500 and as you can see the number 10 of James Silver Fox is still leading this event. And still leading this event coming off of turn number 4. We're going to give you a quick field rundown right now. James Silver Fox is the leader. 
followed by Cameron Pemberton, John Cittadino, Sean Henley, Max Neuer, Dusty Allen, Preston Plourd, Sam Young, Nathan Hudson, and Peter Saviano rounds out the top 10. It looks like O'Neill Balvin lost a couple more spots on their coming through turns three and four here. As look at them as they come down now, the 27 car is gonna get stuck on the outside as two cars pass him. Chasers, Annabelle Belvin runs 16th. Uh, Nick Pericles, 17th. Kyle Matthews, 18th. Stephen Pollard, the third. Oh, we have an accident up ahead. Oh my goodness, the, 40, the 42 car. Oh, we have a big time accident. Trent Dunham, all these cars are getting involved here. Oh my goodness. Caution is out. Anthony Mercury is up in smoke. His day is done. The one car, Trent Dunham. The 13, another chaser, Stephen Pollard, the third. Connor Breton, and they're still wrecking on the front straightaway. The, the 88 car is done. Oh, the 38 car, Joseph Strigley, comes right up into traffic. Look at these cars, though. A bunch of cars on pit road. Not sure. They'll probably put them on the tail end of the lead lap. But these cars are coming to pit road, so maybe not. Let's see. 17 car coming down the pit lane. You see the 48 car on pit road already. You see the three back there. Not a very good run for him. Remember, a lot of these chase drivers, they have... You see the 38 car stopped on the racetrack. Eighteen car makes it into his pits to see if they if they'll do a two tire strategy. Maybe they can get that eighteen car out of pit road first. Nope, it's gonna be the seventeen, the fifty seven, the, the six, seventy two, nineteen, and others all come out of pit road as you see the other cars. Alright, we're going to go take a look and see what happened and bring out the caution. Okay, we're looking here at Dusty Allen. He, this is what happens to bring out the caution. You see the 95 car cut down low. And then, I don't know if the 42 car ran out of gas or if he just slowed down. But then the 42 car, the 95 of Preston Plourd, runs into the 42. And then you, there you see the 6 car of Hudson spin around. That's not... Quite, yeah, this will bring out the caution. Then you see there's the 24 Cody, Cody Hagen getting involved. The 42 car flipping, 95, the 27, the 18 of O'Neill Balvin slides down the inside. Annabelle Balvin misses, but the 48 car does not, and neither does the 14 who slides and turns, the who turns him. Caution at this point is already out, as I'm going to speed it up here a little bit. 48 car flips over, all these cars just sliding in. Big time accident that brings out the caution. And then down here, James Qualls, the 88, the 13, and others get involved again. I uh, believe we have an onboard camera that we can ride with Dylan Pote through all of this. Here we go. See the accident already ahead. You know the caution is out. They're slowing down big time. Slowing down. Dylan Pote is slowing down. Kind of runs into the 55 car. Slows down. Just misses his teammate. Just misses the 61, gets back going to another wreck up ahead, and then he just kind of goes by, just misses the 11, and that's what happens. Alright, so with a big wreck and a lot of cars out, let's go back up to the restart. Welcome back here at Darlington, we're getting ready to come to the green flag. We have a bunch of cars out of the race, including Connor Breton, Jessica Villanueva, Dusty Allen, Nick Pericles, Trent Dunham, 
Uh, the 61 of Anthony McCurry, the 55 of Karen Minizuki, the 34 of Dougie Shears, the 38 car is two laps down, or three laps down now. Uh, Cody Hagen, Nick Pericles, or excuse me, Jay Pericles, the 13 of Stephen Pollard, the third, and the 21 of Sam Young. We go back, Green Flag Racing, Cameron Pemberton's the leader, followed by Sean Henley. Nathan Hudson, John Cittadino, Annabelle Bolvin, Peter Saviano, James Silverfox, O'Neill Bolvin's made his way back up in the eighth. Max Newarth is, uh, I guess, ninth now, and Derek Pemberton is tenth. Like I said, so we've seen the leaders, we've seen passing here today at Darlington. Very rough passing, but we've seen it. And we have seven. We have 18 laps to go here at Darlington, which means that there's probably gonna be another pit stop. Hopefully, there won't be another caution like that. But a lot of chase drivers getting taken out in that wreck. Okay, Sean Henley looking low. Sean Henley looking was looking a little bit to the inside there. If he can stay on the back bumper of the 17 car, he might be able to take a run at him through turns 1 and 2. As you see him coming off of turn number 4, it's going to be Cameron Pemberton leading another lap. Sean Henley running a little bit of a lower line through the corner to try to break the draft. And the 57 car, I think, had to back out of it just a little bit. And he lost a little bit of time to, that, uh, to the 17 car. Fastest car on the racetrack, however, is the top two right there. The 17 is the leader, and the 57 is second fastest. We're looking here at Sean Henley. Oh, my stupid allergies. I've seen the weird stuff happen at Darlington before, so I know what could happen. From last round, from last round, pit stops to cars staying out and trying to make it to the end. What could happen here at Darlington as we're back green flag racing? We're actually going to take a quick commercial break and we'll be right back. Welcome back to the Darlington International Raceway where we are still green flag racing here as the 57 of Henley has caught to the back bumper once again of the 17 of Cameron Pemberton. Ooh, 57 car looking once again to try to take it to the low side. Look at him gain all the ground back on the 17 car. Sean Henley looking to try to win as the 38 car is going to finally come off pit road. Thirty-eight car is going to settle in line right behind the nineteen car. Sean Henley is still on the back bumper. Now, but he's brought Nathan Hudson into his back bumper as well, and John Cittadino in striking distance as well. The run the 57 has going down the corner. Henley going to go to the inside of the 17 car. Another lead change here at Darlington, and it's the 757 of Sean Henley. Now the six car is trying to take advantage to a little bit of roughing up on the on the side of that on the side of the 17. Sean Henley takes the lead, and Nathan Hudson right behind him. Now look at the 17 of Cameron Pemberton fighting back on the outside line. This is going to allow Sean Henley to. to Allow Sean Henley to actually pull away a little bit as the 16 car had to get out of the throttle. So we have a new leader, Sean Henley in the 57 Viagra Chevrolet for Phoenix Racing. But remember, I know we still have at least one more pit stop. A 
Headley still leading the 17 of Cameron Pemberton. Trying to chase him back down. Hudson still in sixth. So the chasers right now are Hudson, uh, Annabelle Balvin, Neil, uh, excuse me, O'Neill Balvin. And the 23 cars come into pit lane. 23 is coming to pit lane. And a bunch of others. So pit stops are beginning again here at Darlington. Right, will Headley come down pit road? Doesn't look like he's coming down this time, but the 17 and others are. Now Sean Henley comes to pit road. So too does Peter Salviano, Kyle Matthews, Seth Cole, Alex May, Max Newirth just trying to get back on the lead lap. As we are watching Sean Henley as he gets into his pit stall. Two tire pit stop for the 57 and the 27 and the 14. Looks well, very much like Sean Henley will come back and retain his position on the lead lap. he does he retains his first place position but he's got the 17 of Cameron Pemberton all right behind him in these final closing laps of this race and wouldn't you know it second place now belongs to the 23 of Max Newirth as Cameron Pemberton takes the lead with like five laps to go and boy does Sean Henley really have to get out of the throttle now Henley has to chase back down the 57. Or excuse me, the 17. But look at look at this. The second place looks like it could be contested here soon. Round of pit stops is over with, and it's going to be, it looks like Cameron Pemberton in the 17 car that could pull it out unless something happens. Coming through turn three and four, they're going to see two laps to go. Two laps to go for the 17 of Cameron Pemberton. Coming through turns three and four, the 47 or 57 has really closed the distance, but I don't think it will close it enough. White flag, one lap to go for the 17 of Cameron Pemberton. One lap to go. Henley's car has finally come in. Look at how close Henley is. He's just barely in the same camera shot. Henley, if he had maybe five more laps, he probably could have caught him. But I don't think he will. They're coming up on the 11 car, but it's not going to be a problem. Coming off of turn number four, Cameron Pemberton in the 17 Ford Fusion will win the Southern 500. Chasers, Chasers finished, Chasers finished second, or uh, excuse me, third, fourth. 
sixth, seventh, tenth. So I think we so we have one, two, three, four chase drivers finish in the top five. As Qualls now completes the as Qualls finally completes the last lap, that means the race that means the race is official. I'm gonna export the results season five Darlington. And there we go. Uh, race standings are official as I'm going to take a picture of the finishing results so that way I can do the, the chase points after this. Okay, there's one. There's two. Make sure they're not blurry. Alright, everything's good to go. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Race number two is in the books. So, uh, after the after the end, well, race number two of the chase, um, after this, after you see the, the points, or after you see the finishing results here, where I'm going to show you the points, there's going to be a red line above, right above, or right below the 12th position in points. If you are below that red line, that means you are in danger of being eliminated in the first round of the chase. So just keep an eye on that. Our next, I forgot where our next race is. I think it's like Kansas, maybe. I don't know. But uh, so stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Congratulations to Cameron Pemberton picking up his first victory of the season. We'll see if he can get more in the chase as the chase goes on. Congratulations to Sean Henley and Max Newworth and others. So, for Michael Norman and the Budweiser All Pro Series here at Darlington, we say, until we meet again.